so I'm going to be going over the best free roll poker sites for U.S. players to be playing on in 2021. Okay, so if you're a little bit hesitant about using some real money and you just kind of want to like bum it and just check out some free rolls, I do recommend checking out Ignition. Now they do a $2,500 weekly free roll that you can buy into. So I mean, if you've got some time on the weekend to play it, uh, I mean, you could obviously take a stab at it. So, you know, no deposit necessary to check that out. And um, if you guys do want to get started here or learn more about Ignition, I'll throw some resource links and bonus links in both the description and comments of this video. Okay, so now that we kind of got that out of the way, I want to break some uh, Pot Limit Omaha uh, that I was gameplay that I was playing just the other day here. I've been playing a lot of one to no limit. This is going to be for uh, some real money. And, you know, I do want to mention, you know, poker guys, this is an entertainment based thing. That's why I post these videos on the channel. So, you know, just know that I've got days where I win. I've got days where I lose, but I always have a fun time playing. That's why, I, you know, I like to play online poker because it's fun. That's the whole point. I try not to take it too seriously. And, uh, you know, um, I do like to think though, that I am up quite a bit you know especially for the last probably like 12 to 24 months but you know i definitely have had some swings for sure now pot limit omaha is a game where you have four cards instead of two it's a little bit kind of like funner to play because there's more combinations of hands that you can make and honestly i thought i played pretty well i was kind of playing like a maniac though uh, in this session, but here we go. So let's break down some of these hands. Also, if you guys could smash a like button on this video, I would definitely appreciate it. So I had a, I had a flush here with the nine ten. Not exactly like the highest flush you could have. Player three was betting into me right here. We turned, um, you know, a five, which you know, like I said, not exactly feeling too strong about my nine ten here. But he checked it on the turn, which I thought was a little suspicious. So you know, at this point, I'm thinking uh, there is a possibility my hand's good, but I'm not really looking to bet a whole lot into it because I am losing to like the a, a queen or a king flush. Uh, but we ended up taking it down, so we won a pot right there. It was a pretty decent start, I think up like 40 bucks we uh bought in for 200 here now you can obviously also do some other things on here they've got um the ability to change the color of tables card decks there's auto mucking chat box features all that good stuff all right next hand here I had pocket queens with a queen suited nice looking hand for sure really just looking to flop a queen And in this spot, honestly, I, I guess I could have just called or re-raised if I wanted to to kind of like build up the pot, try to get some players out of the hand, but I decided to just call. Uh, Jack 5-3. Or I'm sorry, uh, raise it up. My bad. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so uh, king on the turn, not a good card for us. We were looking to spike the queen. Player three bet $47 into it, which was just kind of like, okay, he's representing some serious strength here. Maybe he's got a set. Maybe he's got two pair. Maybe he's got two pair with some outs. So our pocket queens at that point were not looking too good. Decided to fold it. Probably made the right play there for sure. Yeah, see, two pair. I kind of called it right there with the two pair. I was kind of feeling like it. So our pocket queens were, like, counterfeited, which was a little bit frustrating, honestly. Next hand, I kind of just insta-folded it. Didn't really want to get involved with it. Now, when you are playing Pot Limit Omaha, you're just going to you're just gonna run into situations where it's frustrating. But, you know, you got to fold them sometimes. You know what I'm saying, guys? I mean, it, hold them, fold them. You got to fold them in that spot. All right, so a flush got there on this hand. $84 in the pot. Player five takes it down, representing the uh, the flush right there. So the one thing you'll notice about how I play, especially when I play these like six max cash games, I'm always raising when I get into a hand. You know, I, I rarely ever limp unless I'm really trying to play tricky. Uh, this was a great flop for us, honestly, because we do have the flush draw with a pair of aces. So, 
you know, decided to bet it. <clears throat> Turn card we would have missed, but we got everybody off the hand anyway, so nobody really had anything there. Uh, next hand right here, I had an ace seven suited with the ace queen, raising it up to start the hand here. Player three thinking about what he's going to do. Taking his sweet time. All right, player four called us. Okay, so uh, to be honest with you guys, not a whole lot here. I mean, we did pair the seven, uh, but, you know, I probably should have folded it at that point. But I decided to call just out of stubbornness, um, make a couple calls here. And for whatever reason, we got extremely lucky. Uh, you know, I bet $30 there with the, uh, you know, the straight, the nut straight. And uh, I, like I said, I should have folded that one. But I was being stubborn about it. I didn't want to give it up. And, uh, you know, fortunately for us, that one worked out. Next hand here, we had a king eight suited with the king ten. Could kind of go either way on this one. All right, a little bit of a small min raise from player six. Um, I decided to just squeeze call. Now we hit two pair, okay? There is a flush draw out there. There's some straight draws, but I mean, hitting two pair here, you know, clearly I'm looking to re-raise. So I do re-raise, I isolate it. Player six gets it all in. Unfortunately for us, he had a set of eights. So we ended up losing that one and uh, it is what it is. The flush didn't get there. Um, I wasn't exactly too upset about that hand. It just kind of happened. Um, and we kind of like got packed to being like break even. But don't worry, because I am going to end this session in the positive. So, you know, you are going to see that here in just a sec. All right. So 10-8 <clears throat> suited with the king seven. Decided to, you know, raise this one up, get a little bit spicy. Player six calls us. Okay. Um, based on my re-raise, I was basically telling these guys I've got pocket aces, but it is what it is. We still have the flush draw here. I wasn't putting either of these guys on a deuce, you know? You're not going to call a $32 re-raise with a deuce in your range. So I felt like my bet here was extremely strong, representing a big hand like pocket aces, making it hard for anybody to call, and we took that one down. Anyways, guys, bottom line, check out Ignition. I've been a member here for the last uh, few years. Love playing on here. Love doing some gameplays for you guys. Um, I'll have some resource and bonus links in both the description and comments. Thanks for watching it, and we'll see you in the next one.